As you may or may not have known, we have been tirelessly searching to expand the news crew here at the WWN. We've been viewing applications from many world-renowned on-the-scene reporters from qualified applicants such as that reporter from that hurricane and that reporter from Occupy Salt Lake City. And after searching the world over, our quest brought us right back here to beauteous Burlington, Vermont. I've got this application here from one Chad Bigelow, head baseman at The Revive. I'm gonna see if he's available for an interview anytime soon. And uh, yeah, I just gotta get this uh, here phone to work. It's, uh, it's not phoning here. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's see if we can get this, uh, this Chad gentleman on the line. Hi, Chad. This is Obvious with the Weekly Wook News. Uh, actually, oh yes, Chad. I've been reviewing your application. I'm actually live right now on the air, but I was uh, I was curious if you'd be able to do an interview anytime in the near future. All right. Well, uh, we'll have to figure out scheduling and all, but I'm I'm sure I'll see you soon. All right. Uh, you have a great day, Chad. Bye-bye. Chad! Thanks Hello. For, thanks for coming down. Absolutely. That was that was quick, almost scarily so. I am always punctual. Not really a requirement here at the Weekly Wook News. We kind of thrive on being not punctual, but I, you know, I'm going to take what I can get right now. So, uh, I wanted to see how you'd react to some on-the-spot reporting. I see. Picture for me, if you picture this scene, visualize with your with your mind's third eye, with that third eye chakra up there. Open that right up and visualize for me a scene. There's music, festivities, inebri inebriated people dancing all around. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Obvious from the Weekly Wook News is asking you, Chad Bigelow, to report on the action. I'm there. What do you see, Chad? What do you see there? I see... Several thousand people. Unaware of where they are. But in a state of complete bliss. This is Chad Bigelow with the Weekly Wook News, reporting on the good vibes in this environment. Well, Chad, thank you so much for that on-the-scene reporting. Excellent! Well, that was just, uh, it was really just an introduction to the full story. That, oh! That couldn't oh, be the full I'm story. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry for interrupting you. I'm so sorry. That's I'll, quite alright, let's carry on. I'll try not this to This is Obvious with the Weekly Wook News. Obvious, I'd like to ask you a question. No, oh, wait, I If thought... you were to interview a candidate, what would your second question be? Well, that's a really good question, Chad Bigelow. If I were to interview a candidate, my second question would be... If you saw your co-host passed out on the ground, on his back, drunk, what would you do? Well, let's uh, role-play this situation for a moment. Let's say you're the co-host and you're passed out on the ground drunk. I like, I like where you're going with this. All right. Very on point. We're on the same page. Very much the same page. As a matter of fact, it's a page of the same book of life. The life that one what, man what ended up on the ground passed out. And this is Chad Bigelow with the Weekly Wook News. I will not allow you to go without the story for a moment longer than you need to. Well, the correct answer was to turn me on my side. So as long as a moment longer than you need to isn't past me dying and choking on my own vomit, I'd say you did that absolutely correctly. I'm certain I would have done that at first. <laughs> I'm certain you would have too. Excellent, Chad. Excellent. You, you're, you really interview quite well, I must say. Thank you. You've got a voice for radio and a face for TV. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, I think I've got uh, one uh, final question here for you. Um, Trey versus Jerry. Oh. In a fight, bare knuckle boxing, in jello and oil. Who wins? In Jello and oil. Jello and oil. Well, if you had said only the oil, I would have gone with Trey. But with Jelly involved, you can count on Jerry every time. Jerry and Jelly. Every time. 
Well, Chad, this has been quite possibly the best interview I've ever performed in my entire life. Not only was it an interview for you for a job, but I think it was truly an important exploration into the future of the Weekly Wook News. I'd like to take this time to officially welcome you to the news crew. Obvious, I'm with you. Chad Bigelow, and Obvious, reporting live at the Weekly Wook News. Locked. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Weekly Wook News crew. It's five tour mission to explore strange new Wookettes, to seek out heady crystals and new chemical compositions, to boldly tour where no Wook has toured before. Zabias reporting live from what's the name of this festival again? <laughs> friendly Gathering. <laughs> the Friendly Gathering! <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to the studio audience of your imagination that is the Weekly Wook News. Yes, you're right. We've been a bad, not so weekly news show, but hey, we've been out wooking hard in all the right ways so we could bring you the news. This week, we've got some hard-hitting, on-the-scene journalism from the Friendly Gathering. A look at your local music scene with This Week at Nectars, your Jam of the Week, and much, much more. Stay tuned. I don't know who Andrew is, but I do know who Obvious is. And I know that us means Northeast Roots. And this is the Week of News. This year's Friendly Gathering saw host to all kinds of wild and worked out attendees including but not limited to the friendly mud stomper who made an appearance Saturday afternoon. You see, the WWN never shies away from the news, even when it's blackout drunk at 3 in the afternoon and slinging mud everywhere. Mud stompers aside, the friendly gathering saw a host of bands from many genres play the festival held at Timber Ridge Key Resort. An unofficial twiddle fest, the Vermont Jam Band played the mountain literally top to bottom, from the pond all the way to top stage. And that top stage set on Friday morning was the perfect hangover cure from Thursday night's rager on the main stage. Friday night saw Kung Fu kick the festival into full funk hyperspace as the crowd danced without care in and around the lingering mud from the previous week's storm. Late night included a set from Lynx in the DJ Nest. Beatboxing, production, live drum and vocals, this up-and-coming artist provided something truly unique and magical that night as the crowd swayed beneath the nest as if entranced. Saturday morning saw Twiddle bring the pond alive with an early set on the shore. Festival favorites Dopapod and Lotus both had short time slots, but these tight sets proved that both of these bands had the chops to remove the filler and truly deliver. Dopapod opened up with a throwback jam, treating its audience to their rendition of Donkey Kong and Lotus played a set ripe with old school favorites like Umbilical Moonrise and Tip of the Tongue. This reporter had to get some sleep to drive the news van home. But reports say that Twiddle played well into the evening and then again beckoning the sunrise over the mountain as friendly gathering came to a close. This is special. Very special. Like the kind of special that you can't handle when you feel it right down there. You know this. I don't know I know, I know. The boys from Twiddle, 
also kicked off my weekend at Disc Jam with an original heavy set list that included killer renditions of The Box, Cabbage Face, Apples, and many more. I know that particular set is on archive.org. Head over there and give it a listen. The Friday night shenanigans began with Turquoise laying down an absolutely interstellar funk magnum opus for the ages. Everyone agreed this was one of the real treats of the weekend. And of course, on the scene favorites, Kung Fu did not disappoint and could be heard throughout the campground. Saturday saw fantastic day sets by La Special and Consider the Source as the crowd of ragers from all over the Northeast regained their strength for the cold night to follow. The almost full moon lit the campgrounds while Dopapod played to the delight of Wooks, Custies, and even the Berry Police who came out in droves for the show. This Rook reporter had to leave on Sunday, but I did manage to see one of my favorites, Sophistifunk, with Adam Gold, Jack Brown, and Emmanuel Washington, as they continue to prove themselves some of the hardest working musicians on the scene. And now for this week at Nectar's. Tonight, Tuesday, we've got Funk Wagon playing, with Mahali and Stenick of Twiddle playing early, and Dead Set happening upstairs at Metronome. Wednesday is Acoustics Anonymous, and Cricket Blue is opening up. Thursday we've got Blues for Breakfast playing after the fireworks, and then again on Friday we've got Blues for Breakfast with Seth Yacovoni opening up. Saturday is the Unusual Suspects mixtape release party, and Dale and Darcy will be playing there. And that, folks, is your week at Nectar's. Alright, folks, now we've got your Jam of the Week with the Friendly Mud Jam. it's time for this news convoy to shimmy on down shakedown street keep your eyes and ears peeled this summer for the wwn crew and you just might make the next edition news News team out. out